AB is such a troll, man. He, he is a troll, man. And this dude, he knows that he has Ravens fans and really the media as a whole, but especially Ravens fans in the palm of his hand because he he commands so much attention, obviously, with, with everything that he's done. Um, he is a very polarizing figure in the NFL. So any move that he makes, any action that he takes is going to get looked at and it's going to be all eyes on him. And it was no different yesterday when he took to Twitter and, and posted himself in a Ravens jersey. Now, that does not mean that the Ravens were talking to him. That does not mean that the Ravens are interested in him. Like I said before in the last video, and like I said before two years ago when he was doing the same thing. Like, he did the same thing two years ago. He posted himself in a Ravens jersey two years ago as well. So this isn't the first time that he's done that. But I, just, I, I don't think anything will happen from it. I don't think the Ravens are going to sign him. And I don't think the Ravens are going to bring him on. Um, but it's just been funny. It, it's been really funny. And it, it, AB is, um, you can call him a lot of things, but there's never a lack of entertainment when it comes to one Antonio Brown, especially when he toys with Ravens fans, because he knows, like, from I Am Athlete, like, they, see, th this is how he knows that he got everybody, because he went on I Am Athlete, and of course, Brandon Marshall asked him, okay, hey, which quarterback would you play for? He said Lamar Jackson. And, and that was toward the end of that hour-long interview. But then on top of that, I Am Athlete, they have a separate YouTube channel where they just post clips up from different interviews and whatnot. And that, that just so happened to be the clip that they decided to use was him giving flowers to one Lamar Jackson and him saying, I want to play for Lamar Jackson. Then, of course, uh, when that interview came out, it went crazy online. Everybody saw it and everybody, oh, hey, pizza the Ravens, could it happen? And everybody, well, not everybody, but with, with, with Antonio Brown, Ravens fans or not, um, it's, it's very rare to find somebody that's pretty neutral on him. Uh, because usually with Antonio Brown, people either would love the idea if he came to the Ravens or they would hate the idea if he was in Baltimore. It's usually either one or the other. And then, the, again, like I said, there's some that's right in the middle that are like, oh, if it happened, okay, cool. If it didn't happen, okay, cool. Um, and Because and, it's him. It's him. And we know everything that comes with an AB. You know all the possibilities that come with an AB. But I don't think it's a possibility that the Ravens bring on AB. But like I said, anything's possible till it ain't possible no more. But I just, I don't see it happening at all. But it's fun to talk about. It's fun to imagine. Because there's one side that's like, uh, for the people that would be thinking about bringing on AB, there's one side that's like, hey, uh, what about our young wide receivers? Hello. If you bring on AB, he's going to take away catches from that guy, from that guy, from that guy, from that guy, from that guy. And the guys he's speaking of would be from uh, Devin DuVernay, from uh, James Prochet, from uh, Miles Boykin. Because uh, those would be all the receivers that would be uh, below AB, so to speak, um, on the depth chart. But then you got the guys, too, who also have a good point. But isn't AB, like, like this guy is, stat-wise, he's a Hall of Famer. And this guy, yeah, it, yeah, he's past his prime, but he still is a really good receiver. So I would expect a really good receiver to take away uh, catches from our other receivers. Not to say they, that they aren't good. But they not, they're not A-B. They're not A-B. And no, they haven't reached their potential yet. They haven't tapped their potential yet. Um, so that's, that's still to be determined what their level of potential is. And if they'll even reach it uh, with the Ravens. Because, you know, Ravens and receivers and potential. And, I mean, anyway. So, and, and then there's another crowd, too. And this is the, most, this is the funniest crowd. Um, the, the, <laughs> the crowd that... Was that, and there's two sides to this crowd. And, and, I, and I, one thing I appreciate so much, man, thank y'all to those of y'all that don't take everything so seriously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you that amongst all of this A-B talk and this and that, people, th th amongst the craziest situations, the people that can joke about stuff, oh, those are my favorite. 
Those are my favorite. When when stuff is going crazy, stuff is going haywire, everything's going wild, and the people that, that that's when a lot of people come up with their most creative and their best jokes. And I've been seeing so many people say, "Oh, if if maybe we should sign A B to a one year deal because if we sign A B, then imagine a presser, imagine the way that he would call out Greg Roman." And they say, "Oh, I seen some people say, you see Greg Roman, he's up in the booth now. If A B was on a team, then he would put his vault on that booth." So A.B. could not come in because if A.B. wasn't getting some, some passes thrown his way, ooh, A.B. would set it off. He would set it off. But then there have been some people that say, hey, but if, if he did set it off, then that could raise the chances of him pushing Greg Roman out the door. Because, you know, a lot of Ravens fans, they want Greg Roman to uh, be exiting from the team. And, of course, the team has been very hush-hush. On Greg Roman. It's almost like in Kanto where we don't talk about G Ro, no, no, because they haven't said a word about Greg Roman. We've heard about Harbaugh now from yesterday. He's expected to sign his contract extension. We heard about Wink from last week. Uh, he was let go. Well, well, he decided to leave. They decided mutually to part ways. But we haven't heard a peep about Greg Roman. So, um, everybody is expecting Greg Roman to stay, but at the same time, Everybody was expecting Wink to stay too, but so so we just gotta wait it out and see. But back to A B. Um, one thing about him, uh, some people say that oh man, if A B was in Tampa Bay complaining about his targets, even though he said it wasn't about his targets. So anyway, they said if A B was in if if he was unhappy with his targets with the Bucks, then imagine how unhappy he would be with the Ravens. And I thought about that, and I disagree. Not that he wouldn't be unhappy about getting targets, but I just, I, I really don't think him getting targets would even be an issue. And let me tell you why. It's because Sammy Watkins is from Florida. He's from Florida. Um, and, but he, he was never a complainer anyway. That's not... Sammy Watkins. He, Sammy Watkins is not somebody that's very uh, vocal. Um, he's not somebody that's very animated on the field. Um, he does his thing. He'll celebrate and whatnot if it's a good play or whatnot, but he's not somebody that's like outspoken like that. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. That's just his personality on the field. AB, he's somebody that's definitely <laughs> outspoken both on and off the field. But um, I, I would not foresee that being an issue with a b if it's not going to happen but if he were to join the ravens why because big trust because south florida because lamar hollywood like lamar's cool with Watkins. you could tell they were cool but it's different with lamar and hollywood and it's different with lamar and a b because again Take to just taking you back a couple years when the whole AB thing first started. Back then, Lamar was very vocal about wanting AB on the team. He straight up said it. Yes, I would love for Antonio Brown to play with the Ravens. Lamar Jackson said it. He said it. And then you got other people that were in support of it as well. Of course, you saw, I know y'all saw yesterday, those of y'all that are on Twitter, you saw Marlon Humphrey. Put the little eyes emoji. You saw Patrick Queen put the little eyes emoji with, with Antonio Brown's tweet. One person that I didn't see put it was Josh Oliver, though, because I know he was probably feeling offended. Like, man, y'all done like whoever made this Photoshop of Antonio Brown in a Ravens jersey. Why y'all had to use my jersey number? I'm 84 and I'm still part of the team right now, at least to the new league year. We'll see what happens moving forward. But it just it, it, it's very funny, man. But anyway. Lamar, and, and, and then, oh, man, Lamar even put the little smiling emoji uh, over that tweet of A.B. in the Ravens jersey. So I'm sure uh, a, a lot of Ravens players, they wouldn't mind. They, they, they wouldn't mind it, but it's just something that I just don't see, like, happening at all. I, I don't think it's going to go down at all. It's fun to talk about. It's fun to think about. It's fun to wonder, like, hmm. What if? What if? But anyway, back to what I was saying. I don't think a, a, a lack of targets would be an issue for Antonio Brown 
simply because Lamar Jackson, he loves Antonio Brown. He got a lot of love for him. He obviously got a lot of love for uh, for Hollywood, and you see, Hollywood doesn't have a lack of targets. He only his his targets start going down, and his um uh, everything just everything really started going down for Hollywood because uh, we know he was on pace to get a bunch of yards, like maybe 1,300, 1,400 yards. He was on pace to have his best season ever, and technically he did have his best season ever. But toward the end of the season, it became very underwhelming. His yards per game went down. His yards per target went down. But his QB1 also went down. So I know a lot of people, they, they say, whoa, man, Hollywood, everything went down for him. What happened, man? He fell off in the second half of the season. Man, what's going on with that, man? He didn't have Lamar. And Lamar, obviously, he has that connection with Hollywood. So that's why everything changed once Hollywood, I mean, once Lamar went down. But my point with all that is that he also got that love, that South Florida love. And I know he ain't supposed to show favoritism on the field, especially as QB1. You got to pick the best option. You got to go through your progressions. But I'm sure that AB would be high on the list of progressions. Because there is Mark Andrews who's obviously wide receiver one for the Ravens. That's, that's Lamar's number one target. There's Hollywood. <laughs> you could call him 1B. Mark Andrews 1A, Hollywood 1B. Because you know every game those guys are going to get their targets. It's a fact. It's a given. You already know. But if AB was on the team too, oh, you know Lamar would look his way. You know he would. You know it. And you know A.B. would kindly remind Lamar, hey, I'm open. I'm open. And, and you know he would do it with that A.B. smile, too. <laughs> oh, man. The things that could have been. The things that probably should have been a couple years ago, but it's okay, Ravens. It's okay. And now I know a lot of people, too. One of the people, one of the, a lot of people's hangups with Antonio Brown is a possible contract. What if Antonio Brown spazzes out on the Ravens like he's done with the, the Bucks a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, like he did with the um, that whole Raiders situation, uh, like he did with the Steelers. But I, then, then you see that other... This is why, again, with all these crazy situations that happen, I always appreciate the jokes. Because you saw the meme that somebody made that Antonio Brown also posted. They were like, oh man, hold up. Antonio Brown was right about everything that he said. Because you got Juju. He talked about Juju. He talked about John Gruden and all that. Uh, he, he talked about the Bucks. And <laughs> anyway, now, if your hold up for Antonio Brown is the legal cases, I got no argument there at all. None. Zero. I, I feel you on that. No argument at all. Um, but as far as everything else, uh, everything else is just, it's just very interesting. Um, but Antonio Brown clearly let, let, continues to let it be known that he would like to come to the Ravens. Shout out to Marlon Humphrey and, and, and Ravens. They continue to let it be known that, um, well, some players, not the front office, of course, they will, they continue to let it be known that, uh, they wouldn't mind him coming. Now, as far as, um, and I know it's a lot of ifs. And again, a lot of these ifs probably won't happen. Um, but if he was to go to the Ravens, a lot of people would be concerned about his contract. And again, like I said earlier, what if he flipped out? What if he started tripping? What if something happened? Like we said two years ago, same thing. If the Ravens were ever to sign Antonio Brown, again, which they, they're not. Well, nine times out of ten, they're not. Who knows what could happen on that tenth time out of ten. But if the Ravens were towards to sign Antonio Brown, they, like we have said before, they could sign him to a contract, a one-year deal, with no guarantees. Or if you put any guarantees in there, it'd just be crazy low guarantees. One-year deal that would not have no crazy salary cap implications, be super cheap, be su just super easy, that, and then that's it. That's it. That's it. It ain't got it. would not have to be anything crazy, not any, anything wild. No. That's it. That's it. So, it's, A.B. A to the Ravens 
it really wouldn't be that complicated. It really wouldn't be. But um, it, it is one of those things that it, it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, just like I wish my dog Pookie would just stop messing with everything. During this video, she done moved the camera over to the right. She done moved the microphone. I know y'all saw the microphone moving, but I'm still sitting here standing still. That's her. So, Pookie, come on. Come on. Let's, let's just say what's up to everybody. Let's be out. Go ahead. And so, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. Pookie, I love you too. Team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all have a great day. We got a lot, of, a lot to talk about today, tomorrow, this week. Questions from subscribers. I didn't forget about y'all. It's a lot of questions from subscribers that we got to get through, but trust me, we will. So please just bear with me. Be patient as we get through the process. But team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like Pookie is when it comes to being in here, I'm out.